Hey everybody, Crackberry Kevin here reporting for AndroidCentral.com with a quick little first look at the new BlackBerry Z10 or Z10 for all you Americans out there. Uh, this is BlackBerry's new entry into the smartphone game on the long-awaited BlackBerry 10 operating system. Uh, and I have one, you know, it just got announced and we're going to give you a quick look and as you guys know, I've been waiting for this thing so long, I've been playing with all the phones over the last year. So I've got my slew of Android devices here, my S3, my Note 2, my Nexus 4. Um, you can take a little, you know, quick look in terms of the sizing. BlackBerry went with a 4.2 inch display on this device. For them it was really the sweet spot between one-handed use and two-handed use. You know, you hear Apple talk a lot about they don't want to go bigger than 4 inches because then you can't easily use the phone with one hand. Uh, when it comes to BlackBerry users, traditionally, you want to be able to type comfortably with two hands, not be cramped, uh, but you still want to be able to use the phone with one hand too. So for them, it became about 4.2 inches, uh, and it works pretty well. You can see how it stacks up just in terms of your you know, sizing to an S3, and obviously the Note 2 is, is huge and uh, a little less one-handed friendly, but obviously a popular device. I'm going to leave it to Phil to really, you know, get his chance to use this thing and either rip it apart or praise it, whatever he wants to do. But I just wanted to show you what BlackBerry's after here. So, in terms of look and feel, you know, they came up with a very uh, sort of understated design. That's the BlackBerry way. They just want it to be sort of a, a tough, stable, utility-based device, not put anything more into it than you need to. But if you think about Blackberries in the past, you're used to seeing a lot of buttons, right? Those full keyboards, the trackpad, the trackball. And now you have a design that basically is nothing. I mean, this is edge-to-edge -edge glass, mounted in a frame. Uh, you know, they've kept, kept standards on it. So you got your uh, micro HDMI, micro USB. You do have a removable battery door, which is nice on this one, so you can put in your batteries. You have a cl clever NFC antenna design here built into the, the case. You can see those gold pins connect there. Removable storage. Uh, overall, not bad. You know, BlackBerry is never about pushing the specs envelope that far. Uh, you know, they leave it to the Android guys to kind of do that. For them, it's about building a great experience. And the BlackBerry experience on BlackBerry 10 is really good. You know, it's a dual core processor, 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, but it's not just about the specs. It's about getting the specs and how they work with the software. And the, the QNX based BlackBerry 10 software is really powerful. In terms of the UI, all gesture based. So powering on the screen, you flick it up. Uh, when you go into things like apps, you uh, you know, there's no home button here, you swipe, right? So swiping up brings you back to the home screen. And minimized apps are these. So they actually look a lot like widgets here. So if you look at something like the weather app, you know, that's open and running. Uh, it's full screen now. When I minimize it, that app is still open. And then after two seconds, it flips to kind of a widget state. And BlackBerry calls that active frames. Now, it's very quick to jump between different apps on the operating system. You can go back and open more apps. And um, you can have up to eight apps open here and running at any given time. And what else you have is this left side. You have the BlackBerry Hub. And this is one of the big features of BlackBerry 10. So what they've done, and, and you know, BlackBerry's always been about communication first, having that priority on communications. So from anywhere on the phone, if you're in an app and you see your blinking red LED go light go off because you got a message, you can swipe up and peek over into your inbox. And if you, you see the message come in and you want to address it, you can go to it. If it's not important, you can leave. But when you go to it, you know, that's not just a notification. That's fully actionable items now. And you can see here I have a mixture of, you know, BBM messages, phone calls, uh, as I go down, text messages, sent, that kind of thing. And it's all filterable. So right now I'm on the main hub, which shows everything. But I can filter down and you can see I have text messages, multiple email accounts, Facebook, Twitter, all coming in. And it's completely actionable. So without ever going to something like the Facebook app, you know, I can reply to all my correspondence here directly. And if I want that full Facebook experience, I have the app to go to, but I'm never really forced into it. So that's the BlackBerry Hub. And, you know, you can always peek into it. So that's the peak gesture. Uh, you know, compared to Android, there's, a, you know, there's less flexibility here, right? You can't customize the heck out of this thing and set it up however you want. You have to sort of buy into BlackBerry's way of doing communication. Uh, and for a lot of people, that's ideal because they're not going to spend the time to customize. And if you buy into this, this user interface, you know, it, in our time with it, it's become really compelling so far. Very quick to do things. You're always be moving. You're always multitasking. Uh, having all your communication in one spot is great too because you really end up you know, never ever um, missing 
a message. You just can't really miss it. Oh, and look at that. It looks like I just got a BBM from Blaze, who's saying hub for the win. Uh, yeah, I can actually probably call him up too on, on BBM video chat here, and uh, he'll tell me to shut up and end this video right now. Well, I was gonna call Blaze, but he accidentally hung up and hit the wrong button, so we're gonna leave that for now. But uh, one last thing, because he says wrap it up, it's going too long. So BlackBerry 10, you're gonna hear a lot about Android apps on BlackBerry 10. Now there's no Google Play on BlackBerry 10, but there are a lot of apps that are actually Android apps. So what has happened here is RIM has taken advantage of the you know openness of the Android ecosystem, and they've built their own tools to basically convert Android apps to bar files for BlackBerry 10. So developers can take their apps, port them over very quickly, and then from there resubmit them to BlackBerry World. And at that time, at that point, they're technically BlackBerry developers, they're technically submitting BlackBerry apps, but the apps themselves are Android based. And on the on the, the Z10 here, what happens is they run in an Android player. So it, it's very seamless to the user, and I'll show you an example here with Songza, which is on the platform officially, but Songza got on, you know, while they work on building their native BlackBerry 10 app, they got on by simply porting over their Android app. And this is technically an Android app. It still runs with high performance, but it is in a, um, an Android runtime. So for a user, you start to see some things here, like, you know, normally to get settings menus, I'd, I'd swipe down from the top, but in here it's coming up at the bottom, and I have a slightly different settings menu. But really to the average user, an app is an app is an app, and if it works, uh, it works. So, you know, and it does here. I can listen to some brand new critically acclaimed music and well I won't make your ears bleed but uh, but that's it. So you're going to see a lot of apps come to BlackBerry 10 on the back of Android. Uh, not a bad thing for BlackBerry users who are picking up this phone. So that's a first look at the BlackBerry Z10 and BlackBerry 10 and I'll leave it at that for now and I'll let uh, Phil and the gang get their hands on this thing and uh, talk to you more about it if they want to. Kevin out.